economics class from Sashindra. In this video, we will discuss about regressive and degressive tax rates. Regressive. What is regressive tax rates? Professor P. E. Taylor has defined the method of regressive tax rates is one or a schedule of regressive tax rates is one in which as tax base that is income increases the rate of taxation decreases that is as and when the multiplicant changes or increases the multiplier that is tax rate decreases diminishes okay and as usual the amount of tax to be paid is calculated by multiplying the tax base with the tax rate very simple and the regressive tax rates can be easily explained with the help of a schedule and a diagram First of all, see the schedule. First column explains tax base, that is income. Second column, tax rate. And third column, amount of taxation. Amount of, amount of tax. Amount of tax. Okay. And we know in India, the taxable income, see, those who possess annual income worth more than 2.5 lakhs should be paid direct tax to the government. Okay. And here, supposing the taxable income of a particular taxpayer is equal to, supposing, 3 lakhs. Okay. And uh, the rate of taxation which is charged is 10%. Okay. Here, the this concerned taxpayer has to pay 10% of 3 lakhs. Say, 30,000 rupees should be paid by this taxpayer to the government in the form of personal income tax. Right. And the point to be remembered here is so if the income tax base increases from 3 lakhs to 5 lakhs here the rate of taxation see charged will be decreased from 10% to 8% okay here that concerned taxpayer has to pay 8% of 5 lakhs rupees okay that is 40,000 40,000 rupees. Again, if income increases from 5 lakhs to 7 lakhs, the rate of taxation diminishes, decreases from 8 to 6 percent. Here, the taxpayer has to pay, say, 42,000 rupees to the government in the form of personal income tax, that is, 6 percent of 7 lakh rupees. Likewise, if the tax base or income of the taxpayer increases from 7 to 9. Here, the tax rate decreases from supposing 6 to 5 percent. 6 percent to 5 percent. Here, the taxpayer has to pay 45,000 rupees to the government in the form of personal income tax. Several deductions are made out of it. See, here, as and when tax base or income increases, the tax rate, the rate of taxation charged will be decreased. And the amount of tax payable is calculated by multiplying the tax base with the tax rate. Okay? Yeah. We have already studied the progressive system of taxation, proportional system of taxation and now regressive system of taxation or regressive tax rates. Of these three methods of taxation, which tax system is suitable? Yeah, 
very rightly we can say that progressive system of taxation should be followed should be resorted by the government because if the government follows the principle of progressive system of taxation the government may be able to mobilize collect maximum amount of money from the people by way of taxes because progressive tax rates we mean a schedule in which yeah, income increases rate of taxation which is charged will also increase if it is so the government can collect maximum amount of money from the richer sections or those who possess higher income okay yeah should pay higher amount of money to the government and the progressive system of taxation has been justified on the ground that see it is served as a best weapon to reduce the existing inequalities in the distribution of income and wealth inside the economic system okay yeah this type of regressive tax system cannot be resorted okay should not be resorted should not be followed if the government follows this type that is regressive tax rates the existing inequalities in the distribution of income and wealth will be increased yeah the regressive tax rates can be easily explained with the help of a diagram just see the diagram in this figure in this diagram x axis represents tax base tax base or income y axis tax rate tax rate tax rate okay therefore we have to measure the income or tax base along the o x axis see 3 lakhs 5 lakhs 7 lakhs and finally 9 lakhs rupees yes the rate of taxation we know when tax base or income increases rate of taxation decreases we have to write 2 percent 4 percent 6 percent 8 percent and last 10 percent okay from the schedule it is clear that when the tax base is equal to 3 lakhs that concerned taxpayer has to pay 10 percent of 3 lakhs rupees that is yeah 30 thousand rupees therefore based on the multiplicant and uh, multiplier here we have to plot a particular point and uh, when tax base increases from 3 to 5 lakhs see here instead of in increasing instead of raising the rate of taxation here the tax rate diminishes from 10 to 8 and uh, based on this multiplicand and uh, multiplier we have to plot another point here okay likewise as and when tax base increases rate of taxation decreases right and uh, after plotting these different uh, points based on tax base and tax rate and uh, if we join if we join these points together we get a downward sloping curve representing regressive regressive tax rates regressive tax rates okay this is the regressive tax rates yeah okay regressive tax rates okay one more method of taxation is to be studied that is degressive tax rates okay now let us discuss about what is degressive tax rates we have already mentioned about proportional tax rates progressive tax rates regressive tax rates and last point is to be discussed is 
degressive tax rates. Okay, as mentioned earlier, according to P. E. Taylor, a well-known authority on the subject of public finance, has defined the degressive tax rates is one in which when tax base increases the rate of taxation will also increase up to a limit and after that limit or after a particular point has been reached if tax base increases the rate of taxation will be charged at a flat rate or will be constant okay once again a schedule of degressive tax rates is one in which as and when tax base or income increases yeah the rate of taxation will also increase up to a limit and beyond a particular limit if income increases the tax rates which is charged by the government will be flat will be constant Okay, this idea can also be easily explained with the help of a schedule. Okay, just see the schedule. See, first column explains as usual tax base. Tax base, we know it is income. And second column tax rate, a very simple tax rate. And third column amount of taxation. Amount of taxation, the amount of money which is paid by the taxpayer to the government in the form of personal income tax yeah see supposing the taxable income is equal to 3 lakhs the tax rate which is imposed by the government or which is fixed by the government is 10 percent if it is so this concerned taxpayer has to pay 10 percent of 3 lakhs rupees as usual we know 30,000 rupees yeah several deductions are made out of it okay and uh, again supposing the tax base increases from yeah 3 to 5 here tax rate will also increase gradually from 10 to 11 here the taxpayer has to pay 55,000 rupees in the form of direct tax to the government again tax base or income increases from 5 to 7 tax rate which is charged is 12 gradual incremental change may be seen and uh, here the taxpayer has to pay yeah, 12 percent of 7 lakhs rupees, say 84,000 rupees in the form of direct tax to the government. And it should be noted here that supposing the tax base increases from 7 to 9 lakh, here, yeah, rate of taxation charged will be constant as before. So, here the taxpayer has to pay, see, yeah. 1 lakh 8,000 in the form of direct tax yeah it should be noted here that see in the case of decreasive tax rates when tax base or income increases the tax rates will also increase up to a limit and again if income increases the rate of taxation will be constant the concept of decreasive tax rates can be easily illustrated with the help of a diagram See the diagram. Okay, in this diagram, x axis represents income, that is tax base. Tax base. Y axis, tax rate. I told you when tax base increases tax rate will also increase up to a limit and if again tax base increases the rate of taxation charged will be constant yeah see 3 lakhs 5 lakhs 7 lakhs and 9 lakhs yeah rate of taxation we know 10%, 11%, 12%. That is, see, when tax base is equal to 3 lakhs, that concerned per taxpayer has to pay 10% of 3 lakhs rupees. As direct tax to the government, if the government follows degressive system of taxation. And uh, 
tax bill increases from 3 to 5. See, tax bill has to pay 11% of 5 lakhs rupees. Ready? And the point here, it should be remembered here that if the tax base increases from 5 to 7, the rate of taxation charge will be equal to 12%. 12%. Okay? And again, tax base increases from 7 to 9, the tax rate charge will be equal, will be constant. 12% itself. Okay? And based on this tax base and the tax rate, see, we can draw a diagram draw a line based on see the different uh, different uh, tax base and uh, tax rate combination okay yeah what i am saying is see uh, we have to plot different points these points indicating that See, when tax base is equal to 3 lakh, tax rate is 10%. Based on this tax base and tax rate, we plot a particular point here. Similarly, or likewise, if tax base is equal to 5 lakhs, see, rate of taxation charge will be increased from 10 to 11. Okay, based on this, multiplicate and multiplier here also, we have to plot another point. See, Tax base increases from 5 to 7. Yeah, rate of taxation will also increase from 11 to 12. Gradual incremental change can be seen. Okay, yeah. Again, if tax base increases from 7 to 9, yeah, rate of taxation charge will be constant. 12% itself. And after plotting these different points, see, and if we join all these points together, yeah, we get a particular type of curve. This this curve represents this curve represents the degressive tax rates. Degressive tax rates. Yes. Degressive tax rates. Degressive tax rates. Okay. Very simple. Once again, there are four methods of taxation to be studied right progressive proportional regressive and degressive in the case of progressive taxation when tax base increases rate of taxation will also increase yeah of these four methods of taxation which tax system is suitable yeah no doubt Progressive system of taxation is suitable, is convenient, should be followed by the government to control or to reduce the existing inequalities in the distribution of income and wealth. If the government follows the principle of progressive rates of taxation, the government can mobilize more and more amount of money from the richer sections of the community okay and the amount so mobilized can be used for the welfare of the poorer sections of the community by doing so the government can reduce the existing inequalities in the distribution of income and wealth inside the economic system but if the government follows proportional regressive or degressive system of taxation See, the tax burden falls more heavily upon the poorer sections of the community rather than the richer sections. Okay, yeah. Just study what is progressive, what is proportional and what is degressive and regressive system of taxation. Very simple. Okay, very very simple. Study thoroughly and Please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Give me a big thumbs up. Okay. Thank you.